This is a battle in the Use It and Lose It tournament between Iroclis and Curva. It's the semi final. Both of these players have had very impressive streaks, win streaks, up until the semi finals. Both very capable players, and uh, I don't quite know, just judging from what I've seen these players do in their run up to the semi finals. I wouldn't be comfortable giving a prediction as to who is going to take this, so I'm quite excited to watch these games. Let's see, we have Spearband, Swordband, then we have Chosen Swords, Chosen Swords, Chosen Swords, Chosen Swords, a few Heroic Nobles, Painted Ones, and very interestingly, Celtic Warhounds. I don't remember when I saw Warhounds last in a uh, competitive game. Certainly not the semi-final. Then we have Veteran Riders, so four of those, and the Levy Freeman on the flanks. For the Gete, we have Spear Horse. Spear Horse, a big blob in the center, consisting of Noble Swords and Mercenary Axe Warriors. Basically what you'd expect from uh, Gete and a few Mercenary, a uh, few Folksmen. Some Armored Spears, some Heavy Spears. So for the Gete, the, the spear support is stronger than the spear support of uh, Iceni, but th that that is to be expected. Also some Britain Slingers there, they are quite good Slingers. They have more armor piercing, more damage. And it looks like Gete is conceding the hill somewhat, or moving up on the left side. Whereas Iceni is much more spread out. Geta is focusing its forces down by the base of the hill. But the Britain Slingers haven't been able to fire effectively yet. And these Spear Warriors are pushing up the center. Chosen Swordband throwing Precursors downhill. Only killing one man. A bit surprising. Here they are charging, eating a lot of precursors, charging into both noble swords and spear warriors. Here comes the second unit of chosen sword ban, charging into the noble swords. So they will get the charge on the noble swords now. Here come the chosen sword ban, and another chosen sword ban into the spear horse. And just the precursors did a lot of damage there. Uh, the Folksmen are in even combat here with the Chosen Swordband. Chosen Swordband have some morale problems. Here the Spear Horse got into the Painted Ones, did a lot of damage to the Painted Ones. They are Heavy Cav. Then they in turn got hammered by the Levy Freeman. The Levy Freeman just peppered the Spear Horse with Javelins in the back here. And now the Armored Spears losing decisively. Iceni is about to roll up the line here of, uh, of Gete. But the, the Iceni center is very, very weak. And now the veteran riders get hammered by precursors. Charging into the noble swords though. Uh, the Britain slingers could do a lot of damage to the noble swords here if the if the veteran riders just pull out. Veteran riders, the spear horse fighting here, the they are both not not very effective against cavalry. Uh, but it seems like the veteran riders here, they're trying to pull out and get a second charge in. That might be very, very important. So the, the spear horse are losing slightly. They need to pull out of the armored spears here though. Quite important. Uh, here we have the, the spear horse could go over and get at the Britain slingers. Getting stopped for a second here by the, by the veteran riders. And here comes a second unit of veteran riders in to attack these spear horse in the rear. Stop them. Uh, let's see, I haven't been able to see what the dogs are doing, but it doesn't look like they have... Uh, doesn't look like they have kills, they're just losing a lot of dogs. So bringing these dogs is, is a, bit, a bit questionable, I'd say. The Britain Slingers are firing here and uh, causing a few casualties. The Gete General is attacked in the rear and he is in uh, orange morale. Fighting Heroic Nobles, but the Heroic Nobles are losing decisively. Frenzy is keeping these Painted Nobles, uh, killing the Spear Warriors for a bit longer. 
but the heroic noble general is is has done a lot of killing and he's fresh there are a lot of Gete units wavering. Some ICD units wavering in the center here. Gete has quite a few uh, strong units remaining. The Noble Swords and the Mercenary Axe Warriors there. They haven't taken too much damage. And on the flanks here, eventually this is going to go in favor of ICD. But these Noble Swords still need killing. Mercer Axe Warrior is about to break, Spear Warrior is about to break, and then this this Noble Sword is going to be two against one. So it might run into some trouble, but there are units moving around the flanks here. Uh, there are Mercenary Axe Warriors, they did get a great charge, but they did get a decent charge. Now these Heroic Nobles, exhausted, are going to take a pounding. There are Winded Noble Swords moving in. Uh, nothing to stop them here, so that could be problematic. There are so many ICD units over here being held held off from the main engagements, and ICD does have more. Uh, I guess it does have more in the way of of uh, melee units left. The general is still holding very well. Although the Iceni general is beasting out the kills, 231. These noble swords getting their charge is very important. And these veteran riders here, they haven't done much. Let's see if they're able to do something here. Charging the axe warriors. Nice. Double charge against the axe warriors. Very nicely coordinated, trying to get them off the field quickly there. So they are actually dropping very quickly when getting charged by these two units. But now they're pulling out, which is a good idea. Uh, this is what it's all about, though. This engagement in the center here. Levy Free moving into support. The Noble Swords are losing decisively. They are in headhunt. Uh, the Heroic Noble General, he, he does have Battle Rhythm, Second Wind. He might be able to... Now, now he's activating uh, headhunt. So that might he might have second wind available soon. Going to get over 300 kills that man. That's quite impressive. And the noble swords uh, are actually winning here against the against multiple units. They are of course elite. Levy Freeman about to break but getting kills. The Britain Slingers are doing damage here, but I'm. Uh, firing into the back of this unit, I'm sure they're causing some casualties and some friendly fire. Because they are getting experience with very few kills, so they've killed some, uh, they've killed some noble swords here. Let's see, axe warriors break, noble sword, and now they're about to break due to army losses, so Getze is going to break and lose due to army losses. The general didn't die in the end, just... Everything else did. So Iroclus and his uh, Iceni quite decisively defeats the Gete. And he had, let's see, he had uh, only two heroic nobles. And this one did an extremely good job. Then he had f uh, f the chosen swords and the painted ones. The painted ones uh, didn't do too well. They got charged by cavalry. Swordband does a decent job here, and then he had his dogs. Uh, the dogs didn't do too much, but it's interesting that he brought them anyway. The Britain Slingers turned out to be a good investment. Uh, as for the Gete, uh, the Noble Swords overall do a decent job, but the Spear Support just wasn't able to perform very well at all. And uh, it, it's this isn't the bad Gete army by any means. It's just that. The armored spears, heavy spears, all, basically all of the barbarian spears, in terms of killing power, they lag behind the hoplites because they don't have, uh, they have the shield screen overall or the shield wall, and they don't have the hoplite phalanx, which increases their damage and their melee attack. So, uh, very, <laughs> uh, very weird to see. Uh, to see Celtic Warhounds being used in a semi-final battle like this, but that's Iraklis for you, and 
Although those two units in particular weren't made cost effective, the rest of the army worked and defeated the Gete. So this is a best of, I believe it's a best of, I'm not sure if it's best of five or best of three actually, I forgot that. But uh, in any case, we're going to have more battles between these two great players. Strength and honor.